Bring in Deneen Burrell, a conservative review, a chief political correspondent. Deneen, good to see you. Thank good you so much you. Uh, for joining us. So what are you watching particularly tonight? Well, this is going to be an interesting debate because, you know, all eyes will be on Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders. I think the big question is, who is going to go after Hillary's character? She has serious issues that are going on. 53% of voters, uh, what they, uh, are, she's got an unfavorable rating of 53%. 61% of voters don't trust her, and 30% of Democrats don't trust her as well. So she's got some serious character issues, and also she's not a consistent liberal based on the base of liberal voters. Right. And but so, she's been trying really hard to go all the way to the left, right? She has been, yeah. but it, it's not working. That's, isn't that where Bernie Sanders goes after her, as being too close to Wall Street, too close to the corporate crowd? That's really his big issue. Well, Which is what he should do. But that, I think that's why she's probably come out with these trying to get to get tough on Wall Street reforms. It, it puts her in a situation where it's going to be hard for at least the other Democrats to bash her. She's anti the trade deal. She's against the Keystone Pipeline. She has all the. She's coming out with oh, she wants to get rid of the Cadillac um, tax on health. So it's a double caffeine she's, tax. She's right? more right. She's more left on gun control than Bernie Sanders is. She wants to get rid of the liability way. Yeah, well, she's going to try to move hard left on environmental issues and hard left on the gun issues. But one thing uh, people need to keep in mind is that the electorate is so. Change. It's a big change now. Uh, the left is more left. Conservatives are more conservative, yeah, which is why point. we're seeing uh, the, the individuals who are not generally regular politicians like Trump and Carson and Fiorina out in the lead. And you're looking at Sanders, who is ahead of basically really ahead of Hillary. Hillary's not left enough. As, as, as primaries go, if Biden doesn't get in this, can anyone really seriously challenge Hillary, or is this really about Hillary versus whoever the Republican nominee is? Well, I really think it, well, that's a great question. Yeah, and the question is, will Biden get in? But if he does not, I think this is a really neck and neck game. I think with Sanders and between Sanders and Hillary, you do, huh? uh, wow. trying to yes, because I think the that. electorate has gotten so because polarized. it's so polarized. And again, it got a lot of young uh, voters who are much more progressive and liberal versus years ago, and on the other end of the spectrum, conservatives, their older crowd, and much more conservative. And that's why we're seeing this dynamic. Dynamics in the two parties. I'm How about Bernie to... Sanders and Donald Trump, the billionaire versus the socialist? Well, I that said, actually that would be a fun race I It would be kind that. of depressing for the country, but it would be a fun race I described that as Karl Marx versus Thurston Howell III. <laughs> the, I, it'll be, I want to see if Hillary looks phony. Standing next to Bernie Sanders, who's kind of like your old crazy uncle. How, how fake does she look? Is she right. able to kind of come across with some sort of authenticity? And do they and do they bash Obama? That's, that's like the authenticity and and just being real and you know that's what people are going to be looking at the the yeah. that kinds of emotion from. I from want Hillary. Bernie to be like running his hands through his hair, like leaning on the podium, like just just completely irritated by Hillary. But, but no, Hillary is not a sociable person. She's not warm and fuzzy. And she doesn't. She's not a good campaigner. You know, not likable. Right. And she's not. She's not a good campaigner. Well, uh, in terms of issues, I mean, the, 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 you've got the issue of her likability and, and trustworthiness for sure. But what about the email scandal? What about the, the donations to right. the foundation? Do you think they attack her on that? That's huge. And I think they should do that. Why not? I mean, everything should be on the table. This is politics, and that's what happens in politics. And really, I, I always say she's a walking disaster. She's got so much going on, so much against her, that it's, I think it's a shoe in for them to use what's going on with her against her. And and what about the other guys who, who are going to be there on the stage with her? Could they just replace them with potted plants? Or is there anyone <laughs> out there, you know, who could resonate like a Carly Fiorini did on, on the Republicans? Yeah, side? and that's the thing. I, I haven't heard anything from the other three uh, individuals. I haven't, not that much. And for this to be a debate where they're all going to be on stage, everyone's going to try to stand out. So I think it will be a jogging position in terms of who may decide to come out against Hillary, which will make the news and make the headlines. Really fascinating stuff. We'll have lots to talk about tomorrow. Dean, good to yeah, see you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dean Borelli there.